they focus all their religious attention on the rising of the sun at the summer solstice. At the same time, when that star appears, and they mention the phoenix coming to begin time. That was Egypt's New Year's Day, and they saw the sun return to the same position 365 days afterwards. But through the years, they noticed that their New Year's Day drifted away from its summer. Why? Because the true solar year, of course, has 365 days and a quarter. We add the extra day of February 29 to adjust for this leap year. But the ancient Egyptians didn't do this. To them, it was the sacred order of the gods, and it should not be changed. And so, every four years, the New Year's Day moved by one day. And every eight years, by two days, and so on, and so on, and so on. It slowly created a different cycle of time. It means that the seasons gradually get out of step with the, the artificial year and therefore a long time must elapse, many hundreds of years, before the status quo is repeated. And this is the Sothis cycle. And it obviously was a great festival. The Sothic cycle, Greek historians called it, after Sothis, their name for Isis, from whose womb Rehorakti sprang on that special day when Egypt itself was reborn. And although the magical moment of rebirth occurred every year the same time at summer solstice, Egypt's New Year's Day on its calendar, the birth of Ra, moved further and further away from it. It would take a full cycle four times 365 years, that is 1,460 years to return back to its original point. This was the return of the phoenix. The cycle begins on June 21st, when the sun rises far to the north. Losing one day every four years, each next generation of Egyptians saw its New Year's Day later in the year and the sun rise away from the north. As over centuries, New Year crept towards winter, the sun would rise farther and farther to the south until winter solstice after 730 years, and then back to the north as the New Year crept back again to midsummer to complete the circle after 1460 years. It is the reunion of the sun with the star Sirius and the flooding of the Nile. Remember this, the spinning top of the child. Imagine that this is the Earth and that every revolution is one day. But see what happens. It's ABC to astronomers. Very slowly, the axis of the Earth wobbles. One turn every 26,000 years. And the effect of this is that the stars appear to move slowly in the 26,000 year cycle we call precession. Precession makes our sun appear to rise in different constellations over periods of 2,000 years and stars to go slowly up and down through the epochs. Baval thinks the Egyptians became aware of it through time. Witness this temple in Elephantine in the south.